You want some extra money? You want to dump your unfulfilling job and live your own life your own way? Well, we have some answers for how you can do just that. Times are kind of tough right now for most people. It's getting increasingly difficult to make ends meet. And most people work paycheck to paycheck, month to month, and barely get by. But there are ways to beat the system and set your life on a course to prosperity. It will take some effort, as well as a belief in yourself and your own self-worth. But if you persevere, the payout, both financially and mentally, will be completely worth it. I'm Mike with List25, and today I'm going to tell you about 25 proven side hustles that are sure to pay off. Twenty-five, Play games for cash We play games on our phone. Everyone plays games on their phones. These games and apps are actually referred to as time wasters in the industry. It's time we never get back and there really isn't any benefit for most of them. But that could change. Apps like Bingo Cash, Solitaire Cash, Swag Bucks, there are so many apps that pay you to play games on your phone. We don't really make much from the actual playing of the games. It's mostly from watching ads and filling out various surveys that go along with them. You also won't get rich doing this, but making a few bucks playing those games is better than earning nothing playing them, you know? Just be sure to check these apps out before you start playing so that you don't get scammed. 24. Take surveys online. Taking surveys online will not make you rich. But if you like to take surveys in your spare time or want to have your opinion heard, why not make a few bucks in the process? Apps like One Opinion or Survey Junkie will let you average a couple of bucks per hour depending on how many surveys you choose to complete. No survey app is perfect, but as long as they're transparent about what you will earn and don't ask for too much information, you should be good. Highly rated apps like Branded Surveys and Cash Kick are good places to get started. I've done Survey Monkey? No. Shopkick? No. I think it's Survey Monkey. I've done one of them. 23. Extra space? Do you have extra rooms or maybe a garage in your house? Do you live in an apartment that comes with a couple parking spots and you have no car? Do you have an unused closet? Well, if you've answered yes to any of these questions, you could be earning passive income with Neighbor.com. The best way to describe Neighbor.com is it's like an Airbnb, but for stuff. And it's for almost any kind of stuff you can think of, except for those that are banned by the company, such as firearms, fireworks, toxic materials, etc. But let's say you have a barn and someone needs to store a boat. You can make that passive income work for you. 22. Redbubble slash Etsy. Let your creative flag fly. Maybe you have a crafty hobby that you enjoy and would love to share or you like to do photography, painting, or sketching and would love to make some extra cash with your passion, it couldn't be any easier to make that happen. Redbubble and Etsy make it possible, but in very different ways. With Etsy, you can make, well, pretty much anything you want to. Then you create your page and start selling. As people order your craftiness, you fill those orders and start an extra revenue source. With Redbubble, you don't actually have to make anything. You post your art and choose the items on which you'd like it to appear. Redbubble makes the items and fills the orders while you sit back and let that extra income just roll in. 21. Become a dog walker. I love dogs. I really do. Walking dogs wouldn't even really seem like work to me. I mean, <laughs> it's getting to hang out with dogs while getting exercise. What could be better than that? Unless you're a cat person, in which case, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I love cats too, don't. <laughs> I love all animals. If you love dogs or walking, you can get started immediately as a dog walker with apps like Wag and Rover. New dog walkers tend to make the lower end of the pay scale, which is around $10 for a 30 minute walk. But if you get a good reputation and can build a clientele, you can easily make up to $25 to $30 for equal walking sessions. And $25 for a 30 minute walk comes out to around $50 an hour per dog. 20. Try your hand at house sitting. Not only will people pay you to walk their pets, 
but they will also pay quite well to have someone stay with their pets in their own home. Even those without pets that have to take long trips hire house sitters to make sure everything stays safe while they're away. TrustedHouseSitters.com and Mind My House are places you could get started. There will be background checks and other steps you'll need to get through, but those things aren't a big deal in the light of the money that could be made for feeding the cats and watering the plants. Or feeding the plants and watering the cats. I don't know. 19. Tutor. Were you a pretty good student? Do you know how to communicate with students of varying levels? Well, share your knowledge with students that are struggling by becoming a tutor. If you Google tutor app, you'll be surprised at the number of results you'll get. Care.com, Wizant, Tutor.com, and Cambly are but a few of those available. Each site has its own rules and pay scales. You just have to choose the one that works best for you. 18. eBay. eBay has been around for a while. You've probably bought something from there yourself. But there are odd things that people sell on the site you may not be aware of. Things like mystery boxes. Yes, people are fond of buying boxes of stuff on eBay. Essentially, if you want to try this one, just get a variety of boxes and fill them with whatever items you can find. Have old books, a puzzle, some Happy Meal toys, unused socks, that's a box. How about some hardware, a few collectible cups, some comic books, and an extra HDMI cable? That's a box. I know it sounds silly, but these things really do sell on eBay. As an extra tip, if you live someplace that has large pine cones laying all over the ground, gather them up and put them on eBay. Crafters will pay a good price for them. 17. Participate in market research. Much like surveys, participating in market research can help bring in some extra money. Your opinion is really valuable to companies, and the research groups that collect data on various topics and demographics will pay well for their data. Sites like focusgroup.com, user interviews, and respondent.io make it easy for someone to get started. Generally, all you need to do is create a profile that lets companies know who you are and where your interests lie. Fill these out and you could be ready to go. Some sites pay per question, while others will pay as much as $150 for an hour or two of your time. 16. Old media on Amazon. Believe it or not, the nostalgia market is a thing. People are always looking for things that spark fond memories of the past. Old video games from consoles past. Old board games, especially. First editions of books, or edition of books with certain covers. Posters from niche brands. Or even old concert tees and band swag from classic artists. Almost all of these things are quite desirable, and Amazon will allow you to sell these things at will. People scour the internet every day to find that game that they played as a kid, or that toy they cherished from Christmas years ago, or, you know, Hanukkah. They say you can't put a price on memories, but evidently you can make some good extra cash from them. As a tip, for some reason VHS tapes seem to be a popular niche item right now. Who knew? 15. Answer questions. We have covered market research and delved into taking surveys, so why not try answering some questions? There are people who literally make thousands each month by answering random questions online in areas where they just have some expertise. Just Answers is one good site to start with, but it certainly isn't the only one. Presto Experts pays about $14 per question answered. And if your focus is on current events, news, or politics, you could try YouGov America. Your expertise is valuable, so why not profit from it? 14. Rent your car. Did you know you can rent out your car? There are people who sometimes make thousands of dollars a month doing just that. Sites like Toro, Hire Car, and Avail are but a few that allow you to make extra money to let someone else drive your car for a while. Each of these sites has a different fee scale, and all renters must go through background checks to be eligible to get a car, but if you're not using your vehicle, you could be making fast cash. Ha! I got that one. The truth is that the cost of buying a new car has skyrocketed, and sometimes renting a car can be just as expensive. There are times when a person needs a vehicle, and this may be the only way they can get the use of one. 13. TaskRabbit TaskRabbit is a bit different from many of the other apps. TaskRabbit matches people who need odd jobs done with people willing to do those jobs. Everything from assembling furniture to moving boxes during relocating to small home repairs and handyman jobs are available. As with most odd job sites, it's easy to get started and be matched to available jobs. 
And again, TaskRabbit isn't the only site out there. Thumbtack is also a site that matches skilled home improvement individuals with those in need of their services. 12. Drones. If you have a drone and know how to fly it, you could be sitting on some untapped income. Drone pilots have become a hot commodity in various industries. Construction companies use drone footage to inspect potential build sites. Realtors hire drone pilots to fly through their homes and properties for footage to put on their websites. While there are apps and websites that specialize in jobs for drone pilots like flyguys.com, dronebase, and droneu.com, there are also lots of drone jobs on sites like ZipRecruiter and Indeed, and they usually pay well. That's my drone noise. 11. Food delivery. Come on, you already know about DoorDash. For many people trying to make ends meet in this gig economy, apps like DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Postmates, and Bite Squad have been lifesavers. I used DoorDash myself in the past. As long as you have a good driving record, you sign up and are ready to start working as soon as you want to. Nobody's gonna get rich from doing the food delivery thing, but if you're in a situation where every penny counts, driving for one of these companies could make a huge difference in your life. And if you're a person who uses the apps for deliveries, just give your driver a good tip. Believe me, they earn it. Are there bad drivers out there? Yeah, but there's bad people in everything. But I'll let you know that as someone who has driven, the lower the tip or no tip, chances are you're gonna keep getting passed on because no one wants to, to deliver for no tip. So trust me, tip. It'll get you your food quicker. I'm serious. 10, busking. Do you have a special talent like juggling or playing an instrument and singing? Because I sure don't. Maybe you know how to do some cool close-up magic tricks. If you do have any special unique talents, busking could be the way to go. Busking is easy. Find a busy corner in a metro area or a well-trafficked spot in a park and do your thing. People rarely carrying cash isn't a problem either because you can put a QR code in your basket so that people can easily donate. And if you get seen by the right person, Stardom could be a ride around the corner. Nine, Facebook Marketplace. Have you ever just taken an hour and scrolled through Facebook Marketplace? It seems like you can find almost anything you're looking for there. Sure, everyone has all that unused stuff that could be listed, but if you do it right, you can actually make quite a bit of extra money. Here's an example. I know a person who stops at thrift stores, picks up small home furnishing items people have discarded on the side of the road, and looks through yard sales for inexpensive toys and home items, takes them home, cleans them up, maybe gives them, you know, a paint job or new hardware, and then sells it for a very nice profit. Not only do they do very well with this as a side hustle, but it's actually become their main job. Most importantly, they have fun doing it. Eight, Fiverr. Fiverr is an app that specializes in putting creative people in touch with those that need them. Fiverr gets its own entry because it's the best app for people just stepping into the freelance pool. This is mostly due to the fact that Fiverr's listings are so diverse. If you have experience in anything from designing wedding invitations or business cards all the way to web design and coding, you can make some great extra cash. Seven, personal shopper. There are many forms of personal shopping. You're likely most familiar with apps like Shipt and Instacart. These apps are great if you want to become a personal shopper, but there are other forms of personal shopping as well. A simple Google search brings up many forms of the personal shopper gig. Some of the jobs offered are not simply of the grocery getter variety. Some personal shopper jobs include buying clothing, household and personal items for your clients. Building a good rating and getting positive reviews could take a bit of time, but this is what helps you take this gig to the next level of success. Six, cook for farmer's markets. Do you know a secret recipe from your grandparents or maybe even your mom? Is there some cool dish you love to serve people? Maybe you've come up with your own hot sauce that all of your friends say is better than what they can buy at the grocery store. Well, whatever it is you make, taking it to your local farmer's market could prove to be quite profitable. Local farmer's markets always have the usual fresh, locally sourced fruits and vegetables, but increasingly you can find people who make specialized niche products like honey, breads, fresh empanadas, seafood, and the previously mentioned hot sauces. I love hot sauce. I have like 30 something in my cabinet. <laughs> 
Fees to set up these marketplaces are generally low so that sellers' profits can stay high. Five, clean garages. <laughs> well, <laughs> while there aren't really any freelance garage cleaning apps, it really isn't too difficult to get started in this side gig. It helps if you have a truck so that you can haul off things or remove. It isn't completely necessary, but it definitely helps. Although the work can be sweaty and dirty, the end result could be great. Remember number nine, Facebook Marketplace? Well, when you do a full cleaning and junk removal of a garage, you could nab some desirable items for you to refurbish. Four, sell your own wardrobe to secondhand clothing shops. Closets are full of clothes that never get worn. Every closet everywhere has extra clothing that just hangs there, never being used. Those items could be donated, sure, and that is awesome. But if you are really in need of some extra income, there are secondhand clothing stores that sell your old, sorry, vintage clothes. These shops are very popular and do great business. You really don't have to limit yourself to selling your old clothes. Hit up some yard sales on the weekend and look for other vintage clothes that you can buy for very little money and sell for a mild profit. Three, decorate for holidays. When the holidays come around, people want to decorate their homes and make them look awesome. But with schedules getting increasingly busy and free time at a premium, it can be difficult for them to do the decorating themselves. That's where you come in. Most people are happy to hire someone to hang their Christmas lights, put out their blow ups and add some cheer to the holiday season. And if you add Halloween to your season, you can make even more. In fact, if you do it right, you could lock in decorating for spooky season and Christmas at the same time. Sorry that you probably won't get much for Hanukkah because we don't really do all that. Two, freelance. Freelance websites and apps are everywhere. I've discussed a few on this list, but don't limit yourself. There are dozens of sites out there that'll put you in contact with individuals or businesses that could use your expertise. For example, Upwork has a very list of available jobs from up and coming or well-established companies. The jobs you can find there range from engineering and architecture to writing and translation, from development and IT to legal and accounting. Jobble, on the other hand, offers gigs like event staff and parking attendance for your special day. Think of Jobble more as a temp agency. If you have a lot of tech knowledge, freelancer.com would be great for you. You will need to put together a bit of a portfolio, but once you do, jobs could come at you immediately. One, become a home organizer. People are starting to understand that living in chaos is difficult. The minimalist lifestyle has become popular and people are looking for a more organized and calm environment. Do you have good organizational skills? Well, if your answer is yes, this could be the perfect side hustle for you. Look, everyone likes to think that their house could pass the Maria Kondo test, but in truth, most of us are somewhere between that and hoarders. It takes a long time to change your living space from chaos to order and even though you are all in when you begin the process, that excitement fades rather quickly and you end up with a home of started projects and broken dreams. There are literally thousands of home organization tips and ideas online, and sites like Thumbtack and Jobble could connect you with those who would love to help you along your new career path. Before I close out, I just wanna let you know that if you look into any of these opportunities to make extra income and they seem too good to be true, it's likely they are. If a prospective employer asks you to pay an upfront fee for job materials, starter kits, or any other suspicious financial ask, don't bite. Chances are you're getting scammed. But if you really want to add extra income or make what was intended as a secondary gig a main revenue source, any of these suggestions could be a life changer. So, have you ever done any of these jobs? Like I said, I, uh, I have a drone. I haven't really done much for money, but I have done DoorDash. If so, let us know what'd you do? How'd you like it? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you get notified of all of our new videos, including shorts. And I kind of have an announcement. We have a Discord. That's right. So if you guys want to get together as List 25ers, I need a better name for that but you want to get in there, discuss topics, suggest list ideas, that'll be in the description below. New Discord, come join the List25 family. Uh, don't forget membership too, if you want to do that and help us out a little. All of it, all of it. We have big things coming in the future, so thank you all for coming back. Get everyone in here to uh, the, let them know we're back for those that don't. And uh, 
I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.